Good morning, everybody, and welcome to a short update on Hurricane Lee. So Hurricane Lee is now a monster Category 5 major hurricane. As of 5 a.m. Atlantic Standard Time, Friday, September the 8th, Hurricane Lee has maximum sustained winds of 165 miles per hour, a minimum central pressure of 926 millibars, and a west-northwesterly movement at 14 miles per hour. We also have Tropical Storm Margit with 40 mile per hour winds, central pressure of 1,004 millibars, and west northwesterly movement at 16 miles per hour. So, looking at the latest National Hurricane Center's Cone 4, Hurricane Lee, Lee is expected to remain a major hurricane now through at least early Wednesday morning, passing about 400 miles to the north of the northern Leeward Islands, British U.S. Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, Hispaniola, and staying about uh, 200 to 400 miles east of the Turks and Caicos in southeastern Bahamas as of this morning's update. So looking at the latest Zoom Earth satellite imagery and Cone 4, Hurricane Lee, Hurricane Lee is actually not looking quite as impressive as he was looking last night. The eye is closed and the eye wall is looking a little bit raggedy. Um, and this is because we were actually seeing some uh, some moderate wind shear moving up against Hurricane Lee. So showing you the cone, um, we still see the clouds fanning out in the north, northeast, and uh, northwestern sides, but we're seeing, uh, looks like some southerly shear as we're seeing some of these clouds getting blown into Lee on the southwestern side. So looking at the latest cone, 165 mile per hour category 5 major hurricane as of uh, 8.20 a.m. Central American time this morning. Uh, Lee is expected to become a 180 mile per hour Category 5 major hurricane by 1 p.m. this afternoon. 75 mile per hour, or 175 mile per hour Category 5 major hurricane by early Saturday morning, 1 a.m. Central time. Saturday, 1 p.m. Central time, 165 mile per hour Category 5 major hurricane moving to the northwest. Sunday, 1 a.m. Central time, 165 mile per hour category 5 major hurricane moving to the northwest by Sunday 1 p.m. 165 160 mile per hour category 5 major hurricane moving to the northwest Monday 1 a.m. 155 mile per hour category 4 major hurricane moving to the northwest passing about um, about 350 to 400 miles north of Anguilla and Antigua Barbuda and then by Tuesday morning 150 mile per hour category 4 major hurricane moving to the west northwest and then by Wednesday morning 140 mile per hour category 4 major hurricane moving to the west northwest so looking at the latest uh, infrared satellite for hurricane lee showing you the amazing incredible rapid intensification that occurred yesterday um, hurricane lee literally has increased 80 miles per hour in a, in about a 15 hour time frame but as I mentioned toward the end of the frame you'll notice that the eye is kind of closing up and we've seen some uh, struggling with the western side of the eye wall and this is due to that southwesterly wind shear that Lee is dealing with so I'm not quite sure if Lee's going to get to a 180 mile per hour category 5 hurricane as a result of this southwesterly wind shear and I can show you on this map, yeah, we're dealing with about 25 knots of wind shear with to the north about 30 knots of wind shear. So Lee may struggle to intensify much more than it currently already is. And even though it's staying away from land, this is a very good thing in case Lee shifts in its track more towards the Turks and Caicos and Bermuda down the line. So thanks for watching this morning's update on Hurricane Lee. I'll do a more in-depth update this evening. Please stay safe and have a wonderful day, my friends.